that was delayed on Discord, but I know for a fact that the audio files would be yeah nice and synced. All right. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the council's first episode. We're calling this the Council Convenes. Uh, I'm joined here by my co-host Brandon. I hey guys. I am Austin. Yep. Uh, here. We're just gonna jump straight into it. So, what are the types of percentages that are your favorites, Brandon? Well, I guess we're just jumping right off the bat here. Already dipping into the controversial waters of dairy and milk products but honestly you you can either go two percent or whole milk there is no in between vitamin d is a decent supplement at least to the whole milk diet but if you're going one percent or fat-free milk you're probably at your elementary school cafeteria or you're just an abomination on god's earth okay but counterpoint to the abomination part what if people who drink milk like fat-free and one percent do it because they drink too much whole milk in a way to lose weight. See, I guess if you supplement like that and you're trying to offer as a point for weight loss or other health reasons, that's acceptable. It's like having a doctor's note, a doctor's note to not be superior, but whole milk in 2% if you have no medical reason or health reason to not do so is the only way to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm on, I'm on board with you, but whole milk, whole milk is, yeah. It's whole. People were like, it's thick or it's like yogurt. No, it's not yogurt. It's it's just milk. I mean, people would be like, I only drink 1% milk. Like, okay, I guess you like drinking like white water. Like, all right, bro. Pop off, I guess. I, 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 I honest to God do not understand 1% milk. It's like you might as well just go to the point of fat free. It's it's the same consistency. I don't I don't think there's much of a difference. There is to be, but like the, the only thing I think we can agree on is that skim milk is mm. like who made that like really who did it's it? water it's white it's, it's water. literally water they just took all the good things out of milk and just made it into a weird watery substance no one cooks with fat-free milk by the way too yeah no it's you you're supposed to use whole milk for the most any every recipe i've ever seen that requires milk says whole milk exactly exactly like any well, cake lovers out there whole milk is the only way to go you know what i mean <laughs> Well, so since we're on the topic of, you know, favorites of the percentages, there are certain brands that just have a different consistency and taste. Can you name a couple of your favorites? Uh, I got to go with that Nutcher's in the glass bottle. Nutcher's mm-hmm. milk. Also the um, Chalky Milk brand. Fucking uh... Stater Brothers? Not Stater Brothers. It's um, I've actually it's slipped off the top of my tongue. I'm going to see if I can pull it up on Google here. But um, it, honestly, couple- ch- chocolate milk. Um, actually, while we're on the subject of that, every chocolate milk brand, especially the really big ones, for all you athletes out there, is actually very good for your body. So anyone who's an athlete in the sport, I'd highly recommend chocolate milk as a supplement to like after practice or like before a game or something. Because it's got some good fat fats in it and stuff and different vitamins that will actually help you out pretty well without the need for something sugary or more calorie intensive like an energy drink or a Gatorade or something. Fair Life, please sponsor us. Yes, milk. That's Fair Life. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Fair life chocolate yeah, milk. Yeah, there Fair life is uh, 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 lactose free. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, Fair life is lactose free. Uh, Costco sells this one brand that I'm super into. Uh, it's called Promised Land. It's really? also it's a little bit more richer, but honestly, in my opinion, I kind of tone it down with some regular white milk because there's a mm. nice perfect blend to how much chocolate milk should be in there and how much like regular milk should be in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's but, even better yeah. though is that the Fair Life. I've just recently found some of these before. Is the Fair Life um, rich chocolate. The only problem is that it's one percent milk. But the problem, oh. but the thing is though, is that the chocolate, the chocolate milk part, like kind of thickens it to the point where it's closer to two percent, so it's passable. Yeah. But the two percent version is, in my opinion, better. I just wish they had the rich chocolate flavor with the two percent milk. Just to give it a little bit more of that thickness. Yeah, and also because it's just more chocolatey. True. Yeah. Well, do you prefer? darker like more chocolatey or chalky milk or do you prefer more i prefer it milk? no you got if you're gonna have chocolate milk i want that sucker to be brown brown like if you put it on that south park like arrest them scale it's gonna be an arrest not a let them go like you know the one where it just has the <laughs> skin tones on a card that's that it needs to, no i get you it needs to be <laughs> i get you i get you no it needs oh, to be God. the arrest zone hey i get, I get you uh all right all right okay so since we brought up 
Nutshers and Stater Brothers. I don't know why I thought you were going to so, say since we brought up a race. I, I was really thinking about it there. <laughs> I, I mean, it's we're the Council of Milk. We don't judge race. We judge the color of your milk. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We're not fatophobic. So, we specifically <laughs> like milk with fat in it. We, exactly. <laughs> Yo, people just like a little bit of thickness in their life. Yeah, dude. All right. So since we talked about... Uh, What's it called? Stater Brothers and also Nutchers and the glass bottled milk. How it's it's usually tastes better. Well, actually, no, we really uh, didn't go into that. We like briefly mentioned it, but like, I think you can agree with me on this part: is that the glass milk, milk in a glass bottle, is just generally has a different consistency to it than the plastic bottle milk. Like we never took yeah. also the fact that you can actually sell. I'm not sure people really realize this, but you can actually usually give the glass bottle back to grocery stores and get like forty cents back. That's forty cents of your milk back. Simply for returning the bottle you it can, came in. For Stater Brothers, you can actually get them refilled. Really? Yeah, you take them back. Well, you basically exchange the bottle for a refilled bottle and you pay like, I don't know, 60% of the actual price it is or something oh, like that. Okay, okay. I mean, you're still, you know, making money off of it just by trading in the bottle that you had. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's, honestly, that's like, I mean, like, even if it was, like, a couple dollars off, that's still a couple dollars off of you just taking some time to bring back the bottle. Yeah, it really is. And that's just free money, honestly, on milk. That's a exactly. discount for being a good human being. <laughs> exactly. Save the economy. Always. Yeah, people will be like, we support recycling, but I don't see you buying glass bottle of milk and returning the bottle. Back. So people, just, people who kind of recycle don't usually drink milk. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Is this a correlation? Right. Recycling causes non-milk drinkers? Is this all a Ponzi scheme to get us to maybe. not drink milk? I would never support such a scheme. If anything, I'd be, I I'd be supporting Elon Musk and whatever new milk technology he has. I don't know, you, know what I, you know what I would support? The Church of Calcium. Please subscribe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's our first episode. We're literally seven minutes and 27 seconds in. Like You, you yeah. can't just be dropping yeah. that already. We, we got to start selling out soon. That's Look, fair, I'm that's already fair. thinking of merchandising. Already, right. bro? I got like... Think of Build-A-Bear milk cartons with faces. Build-A-Bear cows all over the place. But why does that just make me think of the milk carton you'd see in the movie, th- like the old school movie theater ads? Oh, uh, yeah. The Actually, one that's that, like... <laughs> you're on to something. Hold on. <laughs> uh, you, you might be right. You know what? I fuck, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I do. Yeah, it's, I do as well. Uh... I mean, our literal like watermark is it? I mean, the real question is: Do you have a glass of milk with you right now? Uh, I do actually. All right, all right. I see a fellow man of culture. Of course, of course. Uh, oh, that was good. I I actually just finished off. I was like a, like one sip left in the in the glass. I've been drinking it this whole time. <laughs> I do want to mention though the thing with glass bottle milk and plastic bottles is that when you drink soda, like. People drink soda more than they drink milk. We can, like, all agree on that. Yeah, Sadly. Yeah. Uh, milk? Any Honestly, anything. Like, you can have water out of a glass compared to water out of a plastic bottle, and the water out of the glass is more than likely going to taste better. Because whatever is on the plastic kind of rubs off onto... There's, like, mm. a, a plasticky taste to it that rubs off onto the, like... The liquid or whatever. Like, soda's the same way. People prefer, like, cans over the big liter bottles. Or they'll prefer the... the People love Coca-Cola in the glasses compared to they love... You they know, really do. I've actually can. had it before. I'm not much of a soda guy, really. I don't like it. But honestly, I've had Coke in both the can and the bottle when I was in Mexico. The bottle is simply superior. I exactly. don't care how many like, Mexican children they had to enforce into those factories to make the glass bottled Coca-Cola in Mexico. But you know what? It's where it's at, bro. I wonder if Mexico, they still put, like, cocaine inside. Because I know that's what they used to for the old. I sincerely doubt it. I feel like the FDA would have caught on to that shit by now. Does Mexico have an FDA? Or no, at least but a strict our one, country like does. America? I mean, we can ban imports. Like, it's not that hard. You just say no, no, I know. But there's a difference between Mexican Coca-Cola and... There is, like, but th- Mexican Coca-Cola has actual sugar. Mm, that's the difference. Okay. It's, not, it's not artificial. The actual glass bottle has real sugar in it. <laughs> "Quote unquote actual sugar." No, I'm just kidding. No, for real, it does have actual sugar. In it. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm just. I mean, they don't really have the resources to make artificial sweeteners much down there, so 
and That's it's fair. which is also why glass bottle coke is actually more expensive it's not really the glass bottle it's the fact they use more natural ingredients yeah we're getting off topic because coke isn't a dairy product and neither is cocaine actually most but, drugs as people will come to find out are not dairy products but i hope you already knew that <laughs> what i mean have you ever had carbonated milk or ever seen carbonated absolutely milk? not and i feel like there's a reason why that does not exist i'm pretty sure there's some secret society out there killing anyone who dares try to market that idea and i'm not about to start because there's something called like uh, the the fizzer the uh, bubbler whatever it basically can turn your beer into a a, a um, draft beer uh basically just carbonating it a little bit more and like so what you're saying wonder, is you want to add that to milk to make it a draft milk yes gonna have some I, some like I, ha- my, I have one Wait. so whenever we record our in-person podcast for whatever we're gonna special, try out all right we're gonna we're gonna try cursed milk products oh jesus yeah no, uh, cur- you know, that'll be fun that'll be fun yeah but uh and now for a quick sponsor. I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't have sponsors. We're this not is, that cool. This is brought to you by air fryers. Every company that makes an air fryer, you're sponsoring us now. Yeah, you, we decided it for you. Air fryers legitimately are the best, bro. Some air fried chicken nuggies with a glass of milk is just as good and simple as McDonald's, bro. Okay, that's not better. it. Yeah, it is better than McDonald's. Unless you're I'd getting that, like, four, that 40 McNugget for $11 deal that happens before midnight on DoorDash. That shit's just. It's st- I mean, it's still happening. I know. Honestly, it's still I'm tempted. I'm buying another one. I would buy that work. So, I might do it yeah, tonight. Who knows? Well, you could pick it up. You could pick it up. That's really not a bad idea. Save a I'm lot of money. So I gotta. Yeah. I gotta have it delivered like a loser. Yeah. Imagine being <laughs> in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. I know. What the fuck? I already. Got, <laughs> I already went through the quarantine life, bro. It's okay. Yeah, I was just about to say. I already went through that life. It's, it's a rough. It's a rough life. It is a rough life. I mean, it kind of sucks because I can't get milk as easily. Yeah, but, uh, that's that is a problem. I mean, you have like delivery things done. You know what? Um, near my um, family's house in Modesto, we've got um, Modesto, California. I'm sure, some people have heard of it. It's pretty high on the homeless rate, and also it's where George Lucas was born. Pretty cool place. But um, there is um, at the Safe Save Mart down there, or Safeway. Mm-hmm. I always forget. I always get them mixed up. There's these little delivery robots that are literally the most adorable thing I've ever seen. They literally wait for oh, each yeah, other at I've stoplights. They're adorable. It's, uh, they're adorable. I love them so much. I really want to go up to one and pet them, but I know they can't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I want to I order some milk and have it given to me from a little cute delivery robot from Save Mart. We don't... Where we live, there's nothing special. I know. We live in a little, like, crappy farming town. <laughs> the, the the fucking crackhead of like actual crackhead like no, actual like crackhead, yeah, crackhead. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we're not like <laughs> this is not an exaggeration ladies and gentlemen our drug problems and gang problems are through the roof for how little es- we have going for us especially in the city right next to us my god how many shootings we went to hi- i don't know if you uh seen it but uh andre actually sent a picture of these kids who actually we went to high school with which is a little weird but they got caught with guns and a bunch of weed which was really You'll have to send that I picture mean, later. Those guys knew? are getting those guys are getting added to the list of people who probably don't drink milk. Facts. Holy shit. I didn't think about that. Yeah. This is coming to a later podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We are compiling a list of people we think do and do not drink milk. And why mm-hmm. we think that. I promise you, minorities are not a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean they might be, but like we haven't really decided on that yet. Look. I honest to God think okay, let's think about it like this. All right. White people. Yeah. Do they drink milk? No. A lot of them like to go natural or they're vegetarian or vegan. Yeah. Or pescatarian. Like, that's on them. White people but just don't, don't be knowing how to enjoy life, bro. You know, you got a point. You know, when you're right, you're right. Their their vision of enjoying life is sitting in a three hour wait line for Magic Mountain at Disneyland. Like, bro. Really I'll just go enjoy I'll just like that. I'll just go enjoy the fucking teacup rides, my man. I'll go hit Magic Mountain when I monitor closely the wait times like an FBI agent watching your computer right now. I'll wait for that sucker to hit a peak low like it's the stock market and go pop in that line. Okay. okay. I'll slow it up waiting like an hour, but like it's much better than a two or three hour wait. All right. So, but okay. 
on the topic of those like Magic Mountain and stuff like that, do you buy the Fast Pass? Honestly, I only bought the Fast Pass the last time I went to Disneyland with all of our friends. That was the only time I've ever bought the Fast Pass in my entire life. Uh, for any theme park. Yep. Okay. Uh, usually we buy the Fast Pass, especially for like the bigger rides that we like to go on. Um, That's the only cars. time I've ever bought it in my entire life was at the band trip. I mean, I guess like for me, I can't really go there on the days that they don't have a lot of people or at least they're lesser populated yeah, yeah. areas. So buying the Fast Pass kind of makes it a lot easier, especially with we have work or school the next day and stuff like that, that we can do a full weekend trip or whatever. Yeah, true, true, true. I feel that. I feel that. So, it, you know what? It's... You know, bring it, up another topic. So cool. Why don't they sell milk at amusement parks? Like, I feel like they're missing out on a market here. They only sell, like, $20 water bottles and, like, sodas that are, like, 25 days old. At the restaurants, they sell those, like, little, like, producers or whatever brand of, like tiny little milk bottles you know what I'm talking, like fast foods like yeah, they sell yeah, those yeah. kind of things but not all of them do i've noticed only some of them actually carry those or they'll carry just an old-fashioned carton of milk like that you get at a school cafeteria like i realize 67 percent of the world population is lack more like closer to 60 percent of the world population is lactose intolerant i forgot the exact number don't quote me on it it was on one of our kirk calcium instagram page posts mm-hmm. but i Which guess it makes sense up, by the way yeah you should hit that up <laughs> <laughs> you gotta plug the instagram but um Frankly, I feel like the reason why a lot of places don't be selling milk is because of the fact that like only six, only four in 10 customers are capable of drinking milk. And sadly, the number of people who actually like milk in that number are probably gone down. Although I'd like to give a quick salute to all my lactose intolerant brothers and sisters who still consume dairy products because they decided to simply tolerate the lactose no matter the detriment to their personal health. I got to respect it. You're, you're a real one. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, no, I, I mean... I fall under the same category because I'm uh, I have celiacs, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still eat bread. You don't you don't see me stopping. Yeah, no. <laughs> imagine not enjoying life. But honestly. the only difference between lactose intolerance and celiacs or gluten intolerance is that there's a pill for lactose intolerance. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So that's the only difference. But at the same time, I know celiacs people. It's much worse for lactose intolerance. I'll yeah, it really that. is. Uh, are there any other milk related diseases other um, than like maybe lactose I mean like balance? I have it but like when you drink consume too much milk I forget what um, vitamins in there or whatever milk like protein it's the protein in the milk makes me break out sometimes if I drink too much of it I, on you your don't arms see or just like or is it just like straight up acne just straight up acne yeah oh uh, okay it's just yeah, like I that. guess so it, it just got it's, it's apparently not that common I talked to my dermatologist about it it's like people who drink a lot of milk it's just the amount of protein in there just cause your skin to get oily and trap oils and it causes you to grow, get more acne, which is a shame. It just meant I needed to drink more water along with my milk. Yeah. Water. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't drop my milk consumption. I just increased my water consumption and that seemed to finish, fix the problem. Okay. I mean, all right. Then, all right. Whatever works, works. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean with anything in life, you really have to be in moderation. Like I'm, cutting back a little bit on the milk uh not because i'm sacrilegious of course oh, yeah. do not do not throw a crusade over me i i promise i'm not sacrilegious do we need to kick uh, you off the council no please <laughs> <laughs> the, pod, the podcast is just gonna be you <laughs> i am the senate <laughs> no better yet you'll just be in a discord call with everyone but you'll only upload your track so you'll just go silent out of nowhere but then like respond. pick up on a totally different topic yeah. yeah just respond to people i'm just responding <laughs> to people the audience can't hear that'd be hilarious that would be funny as fuck uh, maybe for an april Fool- oh, april fool's, april fool's podcast we upload five different podcast episodes but it's just the audio from each <laughs> everyone's <separated>. different <laughs> <laughs> so if we want to get the full story you have to be playing all five videos at once Oh, that's great. That's actually great. That's great. Uh, honest to God, we might do that for like next April Fool's if the podcast lives that long. We'll see. Oh, now we're gonna resuscitate that bitch, even if it ain't alive. <laughs> bring him back. <laughs> the, bring him back. The calcium council, bro. We're gonna get an IV, but the IV is just milk. <laughs> but, I, I know you were looking through the out, the old Instagram posts, but yeah, that was another one. Someone died when they put coffee and milk inside an IV. 
It was the coffee that killed him, but still. Oh, yeah, that's the same post that I think I made, too. Yeah, you're the one who made that one, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, fun fact, when putting an IV, the milk won't kill you, but the coffee will. I'm just letting you guys know that. Again, another shameless plug for our Instagram. Go check it out, Church of Kelsey. Yeah. Anyways, I think we've gotten a little um, off the script a bit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a script that consists of five bullet points that we're expecting to hit. Whoa, 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 <laughs> hold on here. You don't have to out us out. This is all non-scripted. We're just spouting, like, everything well, you, off the top You of act us. like the bullet points aren't one word. Like, if we have one word bullet points on this thing, dude. Like, it's, it's not even, like, a topic. It's just a word we came up with that is just supposed to symbolize a topic. We're actually, like, English teachers, bro. <laughs> all right, so first, oh, yeah. Hold on. Milk is a literary object. When is the next time you're going to see an English teacher use milk as a fucking metaphor? I have never once seen a teacher say the glass of milk symbolizes their long lost sexual, like fucking, like their sexual fucking tension. Like what the shit, bro? I mean, uh, I have nothing I could say about that. Cause I was about to say, don't cry over spilled milk, but I guess that's just a saying. That that's just a saying. That's not, that's not like a literary thing. Like, yeah. like people be saying the color red symbolizes like, like, oh, this, woman was wearing a long red cloak oh that means she's clearly angry with something she's probably pl plotting vengeance but now you see like bill over there is drinking a glass of milk they're not gonna say homie's out here trying to put his life back together like <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to get his kids back there's a whole story behind it yeah he had a drinking problem but now he's resorted to milk yeah petition to any writers who potentially watch this to add milk as a metaphorical object for future english classes to toil over just saying just saying. And then uh, give us the revenue. Uh, we patent that, actually. Yeah, we patent milk as a literary our, object. Uh, yeah. <laughs> any any milk-related things in any type of literature, yeah, that's ours now. Yep, sorry, yeah. boys. We coined it. <laughs> but yeah, no, well, for real. We do actually need to get a bit back on um, Yeah, we'll, our we'll next get back point. on track. Honestly, it, it does make sense, like, just kind of stretch it out more. But I know this next topic is going to really be a... The Costco redesign, super controversial. Is it ergonomic or really is it just shit? So for anyone who's not aware or has never been inside a Costco, I guess that's not a hugely uncommon thing. I suppose Costco is a bit of a more like high society thing, I suppose. No, nah, you can go to Costco. Everyone goes to Costco. But like, I'm sure we can like post on like an Instagram or a Discord or something. But like anyone who's never seen, look it up on Google right now. Costco milk cartons. They or decided. Milk they, gallons. Yeah, milk gallons. They recently did the redesign, as some people are aware, as me and my fellow host here are aware. The redesign itself was rather controversial, and especially with some of my friends who also drink milk, in that it is relatively, like, cubish? It's like a giant, like, it's closer to a box than the traditional milk carton. It doesn't have, like, the raised up, like, opening. It's on it's the not, edge. It's not centered. It's in the edge. Yeah, it's on the edge in the corner. And it's like flush with the rest of the bottle. You open it and you start pouring in the milk it immediately comes out, for, even if you're not ready for it. There's no buffer. You drop that You drop that gallon, the milk's going everywhere. See, I do want to say it's not terrible. At first, I was really against it because I did it. Like, it was, it was different. It was a new know? way to pour it. You had to learn how to pour it properly. Because there was a... There, even like today, there's sometimes where it would just overflow too much and then you kind of spill a little off to the side or it'll underflow and then like you have a little bit off the edge like off the edge of the cup because it just hit the the the, the corner or whatever the, the lip of the cup is so I, I do find it to be an interesting design i i get they're trying to be different and i do know it's much easier to package oh yeah for sure i can actually agree with that so in terms two of gallons it's super easy to just wrap plastic around. Here's the thing. Costco milk is actually relatively cheap considering that you're getting more for your money. Like for real, the actual like amount of milk you're getting, I'm pretty sure is over the gallon mark. You're getting, well. Or I, feel like it's, it, it, I mean, I've got some Costco milk in the fridge. I can go check here in a minute. But like, it seems like there's more milk in there than the average gallon. I think that's just kind of an illusion because there's also that big like there's so much more space like air inside the gallon i mean not really it's like a half inch on the top well i mean if you look I mean, at a regular be, yeah, gallon, really, that's fair that's fair. An, i mean it's not like it's bad or anything and honestly it is really helpful whenever because 
there have been times where like our milk gallon will just there'd be a leak so we would just pour that milk gallon into another one that may have just like some already in it and that extra bit of space carries us because we still have like you know an actual full costco gallon you don't understand how heavy that actually is yeah they're they're heavy my guy but yeah honestly i think it's i i think it's all right now yeah i've gotten over it because you're getting two gallons first of all in one pack it's like one plastic bag you know it's easy to carry both of them are it's really easy to carry yeah they're sturdy they're really sturdy yeah my only like issue with it is the pouring and but once you get used to it it's not that big of a deal anymore it's just a different design for the milk gallon really and in terms of ergonomics like i can see how it's like almost easier to use because you don't have to like it's a lot easier to pour it i suppose for like old people who don't want to lift the milk gallon as high or like try to like mm. turn it or like twist their wrist it's not it's not as hard it's like right there on the bottom you just have to get the angle like basically the moment you start turning it, it's going to start flowing because the openings on the bottom plus a full gallon of milk like the regular ones you get at store with the 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 cap in the center yeah when you first start pouring it there's a chance that it's not enough to break whatever I don't know the science behind it, but you know how sometimes when you pour at a certain angle, like water or anything, it goes alongside the container that you're pouring. Oh, the from. tension. It, it's not enough the, tension, the tension. That's yeah. what it is. Another there, reason not to drink 1% not milk. 1% milk is a higher tension. Really? Fat free. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's more water. You know, that makes sense. Yeah. It it's not, sense. it's not quite as thick. It doesn't have as much letting it just fall. It's a little, it's lighter. So it's easier to cling on to stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but I, I mean, that that does make sense because you know the the regular milk gallons plus also also i do want to mention regular milk gallons for whatever reason it is like you get them from safeway save mart food for like anywhere they never last as long as costco yeah that is true i have noticed ever since we started getting more costco milk instead of like the regular gallons dude like my parents one time had to get the regular gallons dude, just because it was like a quick trip to the grocery store and they didn't want to yeah. spend three hours at costco getting food mm-hmm. they it just didn't last as long. Costco's the one brand that makes it to its expiration date and a couple days later without starting to smell sour or whatever. So yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you'll get a bad batch. Like sometimes one will be bad. That's fine. Maybe. I mean, to be fair, out, Costco whatever. milk is more loyally kept inside a much cooler container temperature than normal places. Because you go to those normal places and you get the gallon of milk and sometimes they're just you on an open. open up the door or it's in an open uh, yeah. reefer area and then... All the heats coming in and stuff like that. Yeah. Whenever you open Whereas the door. Whereas Costco, they got there. that shit inside the vault. <laughs> they have the vault. I'm not sure if after every Costco after this, but our Costco does. We have, they have a massive fridge. Oh, vault. no. All Costco's do. They every do? Okay. state I've been to, that, whenever we go to a different state, we always go to a Costco right after. Like we I don't, Every state I've been, I've, I've traveled out to as a fucking Sam's Club. No Costco's. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. It depends on the area. So That's true. That's true. Like if you go to Palm Springs... Costco's a little bit farther away, but you have Sam's Club and you have all these other like bigger, I guess more natural places. They're a little bit more expensive, yeah. but you get better stuff, whatever. I don't know if Sam's Club or any other grocery store has done a redesign of their milk bottles, but Costco, I think, had some has something going, at least in terms of uniqueness category. You know, at this point, I'm going to say it's my favorite because it's dirty. It's sturdier plastic, lasts longer. I would even go to say that it maybe even is insulated better because of how much more thicker plastic they use that is true it is thicker plastic i still gotta say a nutcher's glass bottle of milk though even though it doesn't last as long is just in terms of flavor it's like high it's just like the high society milk okay but for like everyday cereal use and like just a quick glass costco milk is where that honestly if you want to for the weekdays you get the costco but for the weekends you get the glass bottles yeah you gotta bring out the fine china you know you got the boys coming over you got them fresh packs of oreos and the next episode of Corey in the house is ready to go like the glass <laughs> bottle is where it's at my guy yeah i mean i haven't had glass bottled milk in a long ass while uh usually it's actually my grandma that picks it up next in person next time we do it in person i'm bringing a glass bottle of milk with me we're gonna fucking which one nutchers or uh state of brothers um, whichever ones at the local realies, I they sometimes have natural say sometimes with state oh, brothers. Okay. It's either or, really. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure they're in active competition with each other. 
I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. I would. I haven't. I don't know if I've had Nutrius as a thing, but I've had for sure Stater Brothers a lot. The thing is, I think Stater Brothers is more common. Where we are Nutrius is more common, like further north. Yeah, that would. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it might just be like a but, distance thing from their actual like dairy farms. Yeah, have you had Stater Brothers chocolate milk as well? It's I still glass that. bottled. It's glass super bo- thick. Yeah, and I know you mentioned how you liked it more chocolatier and. I have had I have had glass bottle chocolate milk before, but not the Stater Brothers one. But it is thicker. Yeah. It is it's actually really good, and I, I you know I do recommend. I'm not much of a a heavy like chocolate milk fan. It's not super super heavy either on the chocolate, but it's still pretty it's still pretty nice. So I think you would enjoy it. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, that's. I think like these glass bottle. I don't. Okay, so people out of state. I don't know if they have. I, I doubt they have Stater Brothers, or I have. I doubt they have, maybe Nutchers, but I don't know for sure. Any out of state watchers, if you got like different types of uh, glass bottled milk that you would like to uh, to share with us, that'd be really interesting. We'll probably bring it up yeah. in the next episode. Because, Br- uh, send some comments in. We'll see if we can get like some Amazon delivery going. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't know. I think Amazon delivery. Yeah. Well, I don't know because Amazon's grocery like. That's going to count on your grocery. I don't think they'll deliver out-of-state things. I think your best bet's getting it, like, I, from I, a friend. I like, tried to look up Amazon Milk, and I ended up getting Amazon Milk Frog. You know what? We need a class pet. We need a council pet. I mean, I've got my <laughs> leopard gecko and my bearded dragon in here. Do they drink milk? Sadly, no. I got my dogs, though. I'm pretty sure they drink milk occasionally. No, you know what? Yeah, they, got, they drink milk. We need a cat. Cats fucking love milk. I have cats. Yeah, there you this go. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, cats are sluts for milk, frankly. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that wording. I mean, I, actually, I don't know because I know they drink milk when they were young, but I haven't given them milk in a hot minute. That's fair. That's fair. And you know, I'm not gonna waste my whole milk on that. Well, let's look you here. Know, I'm looking on Amazon right now for dairy milks. I, I'm looking on here. I see that that old school Horizon milk. You know the oh, ones I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the Cuba yeah. ones. You see them boys at like Starbucks. Yeah, them boys are good. I see a Those lot of box things. milk actually. Okay, so box milk. We've been talking about plastic and like. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Box milk though. Okay, I've actually had it. Um, so. There's this Portuguese milk that I had. It's really good, but they haven't, like, the place I get it from hasn't ordered it in a hot minute. Uh-huh. It is so sweet, but so good. It's, it lasts forever, first of all. Like, you don't even have to refrigerate it because it's, like, super ultra pasteurized. Oh, which, yeah, for sure. To some people, that's bad. To some people, that's good. I don't care because the milk still tastes great. And it, it's honestly a little bit healthier when I'm looking at the nutrition facts. It is a little bit healthier. That or people in Portugal, uh, Portugal get away with a lot of things with their nutrition facts. Yeah. But it is quite good. Uh, if you ever... See, the thing is, the place I get it don't sell it much. People just don't buy it. Uh, it is good for cooking, though. I will mention it is good for cooking. Uh, it's not too thick either, as people might think, because it is ultra-pasteurized, but it's still... It's a very unique flavor. Like American yeah. milk does not have that type of sweet flavor. It is, it doesn't, yeah. Maybe for the in person if I can get a if I can order some or whatever, I'll make sure to bring some. I know we have some in our fridge and that stuff literally lasts years because of its old shit. Yeah, no, we'll have to get like a different milk products to try out. But do they sell like any it. other type of boxed milk? I mean, okay, hold on. Ripple non-dairy milk. I don't know what I just came across, but it says it's vegan and I'm going to be frank with you, vegans are like public enemy number one in my opinion like they top isis at this point you already destroyed isis vegans are the only terror threat left we have in the united states they're a threat to milk they are a threat to milk hmm. now any vegans don't take true offense to this but i hate you and everything you stand for hmm. i'm a meat lover i'm a milk lover i will let you do whatever but i just want you to know you will never convert me to veganism ever my man's chose violence today I did choose violence today. I woke up at 9.30 in the morning. I usually wake up at 10.30. Honest to God, I I think... I think vegetarians and pescatarians are, like, super chill. They are, I yeah. I think 
the people who really try to convert you are vegans. And yeah. I've never once had a pescatarian try to convert me to pescatarianism. And I would low-key do it. Like, I can deal with like, I would low key. Honestly, I, I know, like, I mean, maybe for you, uh, it, it's not too much of an issue because you are... I love Your seafood. metabolism is super, yeah, I have a like, high compared high, yeah. to, like, me. So, like, pescatarianism would actually work better for me in this situation just to lose weight or whatever it may be yeah but i love um, i love fish though i love seafood <laughs> i mean seafood's pretty good okay is it true i know you cook a lot more than me but people do cook fish with milk still like that is the thing i've heard i haven't done it myself but i have heard about it and generally it's they mix it up with other stuff and it makes like a reduction almost but the fattier part okay. of the milk adds like fat i guess to the food i guess this is just thinking from the mind of a chef. I am a sushi chef, by the way, but I do cook at home with just some random recipes and just sometimes I feel like experimenting. Have yet yeah. to experiment with a recipe where you have to cook in milk, though. That does sound interesting, admittedly. It'd probably smell a little funky, but it's probably there's probably a specific way to do it, admittedly. I don't think it would smell sour, though, at least, especially if you're like... I mean, there's soups that have milk in it. There are soups. I was about to mention, is cereal a soup? But we're going to mention that in a different episode. Yeah, we got it. That's yeah. a good one for a different That's episode. a really good one for a different episode. <laughs> we'll probably be spending a solid 20 minutes debating that boy. I, I see you. Uh, all right. Yep, see I'm you. adding it to your topic. <laughs> You're adding it to our list. All right. <laughs> but, Honest um, to God, we, we made this list last night, and we're like, I don't know how much we're going to get on, but we'll, we'll, we'll like throw it on. And honestly, we have four episodes with a fifth potential episode for just a quick episode, whatever it may be. Yeah, we got a few episodes lined up, so we're not on a shortage of topics at the moment, though we got to keep this up. So basically Topic, that's enough for a month. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, because this week I do want to at least release two episodes, get us through the door, like get our foot through. Get us in the door, yeah. Uh, but then once it comes to next week, uh, Monday, we're going to probably, actually, I might have to reschedule Monday because I forgot I got a date that day. Oh, you got a deaf simp. Anyways, um, <laughs> look, I simp <laughs> for the boys and I simp for milk. That's fair. But even then, I could probably just, yeah, we could do it. Our recording schedule is Monday and we upload every Friday. This week, I'm going to upload, I'm going to try to get this first episode going yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today, Tuesday, Monday, whatever today it is. Mm-hmm. It's Tuesday. Um, and then I'll get, I'm in quarantine, so I have a bunch of time. That's why I'm like, yeah, we true. really push to do this. Uh, there were a bunch of other people that were on board with the Church of Calcium uh, to be hosts, but at the same time, they not that they flaked. It's just that a, it's just an issue with a lot you know? of yeah, it's scheduling. A issue with some friend groups is that when we start, we start things, but then we never like go through. Yeah. Uh, me and Brandon just like last night we're like, you know what? Let's do it's it. It's time for the it's time for the revival. It was like two in Talk- the morning, and we're like, you know what? We're gonna start the podcast tomorrow. And we sat down, Talk- spent half an hour making topics, got all the recording software downloaded, had our shit set up. I'm getting a new mic that should come in like in the next two days, so I'll probably sound even better in the next podcast. But yeah, not to segue or anything, but I want to shout out to Dominic. Oh my two boy! In the morning. Minutes after I made the revival post, he comes in and says, "At long last, my man's has been waiting more than a year for this." It, we, I just want to say, Dominic, you're a real one. Yeah, my boy Dominic. I hope you're doing good, my man. If you hear this, you you're a realist, man. Like that made <laughs> our night. Like we were sitting there, and I get a text from Austin as like I just topped off the Discord call, just saying. Check the Instagram and who just comments. And I look on there. This post hasn't been up for like longer than 30 seconds. This man already commented on it. Exactly. It, it, we have a true milk lover. Yeah. Dominic, you join the Discord, you're automatically given the calcium connoisseur role. Speaking of Discord, this? nice segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shameless yeah. plug. <laughs> <laughs> join our Discord. Links in the... Actually, I don't think it linked... I don't think I linked it yet. You haven't linked it yet. It's fine. We'll put it. I in will the link yeah. in the Instagram and in the YouTube that we have. I think I'm thinking of starting up a a Twitter as well, just for more casual announcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also so you can shit post and make and make exactly. our old high school friends mad. You know the ones I'm talking uh, about. Yeah, I know which ones I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones. But um yeah, you know what? You guys join the Discord. You can give us whatever topics you want. Who knows? Maybe we'll eventually decide to let some of y'all on the show as guest speakers. We're not really picky. I, we don't got any high society standards for our podcasts. 
if well, if you've drinking milk at least once in your life, then you qualify automatically. You qualify. If you Dominic, just, if, Dominic, if you're listening to this, we would be honored to have you as our first high key uh, yeah. guest on the podcast. Yeah, but if we're gonna do that, you know, we're gonna have to get some uh, professionalism done with this, uh, just Prof- so it's like. Okay. We have our own. Well, we do have our own way of how we're doing this right now. But yeah, it's just because we're in close and contact and stuff. But like, yeah. I know we didn't mention this throughout the whole thing. We're actually pre recording, and then the footage that we're using is way after. Yeah. Uh, I just want you to know that every every podcast episode, if you're here for the gameplay, it's all just going to be shitty flash games. At like, least for now. At least for now. I'm pretty sure we'll like for something easy so we don't have to look for another flash game well it's not even flash anymore it's html5 i'm gonna be uh, honest we delayed the start of this podcast by like 20 minutes because we accidentally got too enamored in a shitty flash game both of cool us Cool math games uh, cool math games if you want to if you want to sponsor us. cool math games has fallen off my guy like i know you just asked for the sponsor but like these mans are really sunken low man asking for they, they got ads asking for ads i they know they have an ad dude if you loved cool math games, you'll love cool math games premium. God, I want to die. Cool math games was like the heart of our childhood, bro. Cool, like it's... a cold glass of milk with like fucking like, I don't know. Shit, what was a good cool math games game? Crack the pig. I was going to say, well, like I always drink like, I don't know about you. I drink milk and I usually had crackers as well for like a snack. I had milk and um, some chewy chips ahoy was my go-to and my dad would okay. always give me more of my snack bag than my mom would because he's a real goldfish one. is slowly unrated with milk there's just something about it honestly it a lot of snacks are un- i've already gotten my niece hooked on milk dude like this is the proudest moment of my life when she asked for milk before she asked for apple juice bro that made me happy i'm sorry to my older That's brother true. my older brother is not the hugest fan of milk and he knows i love it i'm sorry for converting your o- your only daughter into a milk lover you know actually i'm not sorry she deserves it you know what? It's okay. Because if he can accept it, we accept him. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't think we'll he actually cares that be- much, but... <laughs> we'll look at you better if you drink milk. But let's be honest. We're, we're, we, you're fine if you at least accept milk. Yeah, you really are. It's like the whole like um, like um gay ally thing. You're, we accept you. <laughs> milk, milk ally. Milk ally. Calcium ally. Calcium, calcium ally. comrade. There you go. Ca- ca- Holy shit! I'm gonna name, I'm gonna put that as a role for like, ever like all of like Connor, Andre, and stuff like that, and and Dominic. Dominic deserves it. I, I, when he did that, I was I was taken back. I just opened up my Instagram. I'm gonna send you a post, Austin. This has mm-hmm. nothing to do with the podcast. It's just I saw this, and I, if I saw it, you had to too. Anyways, I hate that. Ball. I'm sending this to my boy here. Um, I'll put it on the Discord too, so if people join, they can see the cursed fucking image i just saw but oh, good. like all right so we just talked about that like the best big topic we talked about was the costco ergonomic design but like could we oh, actually God. come up with something better like for real <laughs> what are you what are you talking about like could we actually come up with a better milk carton design like legitimately like are we that good are we that <laughs> level of a connoisseur okay so first of all milk in a wine glass i've had that i've had that or sorry milk in- that comes in a wine bottle Sorry, like cork and everything. Like whole milk, <sighs> that thick stuff. Aged? <laughs> That's just, no, aged, aged milk is just cheese, my guy. Exactly. I want a bottle of cheese. That, you know what, yeah. Just put your you, have to bre- you have to break the glass to get to the cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Message in a bottle, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a fucking <laughs> cylinder of cheese. <laughs> that is a, Oh, I could go for some cheese now, damn. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm like... Go. You need to get some food, my man. You can't... I had a whole bowl of Frosted Mini Wheats before this podcast. Frosted Mini Wheats. I, honest to God, I'm probably just going to have some cereal as well. I don't know what kind of cereal you have. Probably some adult cereal, like Honey Bunches of Oats. Adult or some, cereal. <laughs> or some kid cereal, like Lucky Charms. There's no in between. You acted like Lucky Charms is an adult cereal. People be having their midnight crisis and eating Lucky Charms all the time, my guy. True. Yeah. You know, you got a point. We don't discriminate. I mean, I think children's cereal is the only type of cereal out there. There's like, there's very few that still live. Special K. few that live. 
Special K, Raisin Bran, Honey Bunches of Oats. Honey Bunches of Oats are like one of those that like kids love as well. Yeah, yeah, so true. Like, but Special K is like you only see like older women eating that. Facts and Raisin Bran, you only see like old men who can't who need more like fiber. Yeah, or like just any type of brand. Yeah, really, honestly. And then Captain Crunch is that like that kids cereal that fell out of the spotlight, but like some parents still feed their kids as if it's still the golden years. It's not bad, but honestly, it's not my favorite. Yeah, bro. I know we shouldn't get into it, but Golden Grams fell off so hard compared to when they were we were like kids. Yeah, they kind of did, didn't they? They're like. They advertise that it's like honey, but it's not. It's so... Honey Nut Cheerios is closer to actual honey than Golden Grahams. Okay. When Honey Nut Cheerios converted to being gluten-free and only using like actual oats and stuff like that to make the Cheerio, I would say it's better than it used to be. I'd have to agree with you, honestly. Although if you're not getting Honey Nut Cheerios, what are you even doing? You just like eating bread with milk? I do... Okay. I do sometimes like regular cheerios because i do prefer to put like fruits and stuff like that inside the regular cheerios okay that's so that's valid. strawberries that's valid putting them in honey nut cheerios is good too i just kind of like it when the flavor is a little bit stronger with just the strawberry banana like whatever that's I put fair, in. That's usually fair. it's just strawberries and bananas but yeah. that's my thing on the whole thing but uh but it's back to our designs on milk containers you kind of just ignored the whole design conversation <laughs> we did we went on a whole tangent we did um, yeah I don't know if I can honestly believe, like, I don't know if I can honestly think of a better, maybe, okay, I wouldn't have the, like, we'll take the Costco gallon, because Costco gallon, I think, is, like, my favorite right now, other than a glass. We're talking about plastic for net right now. Yeah. Uh, I would have the cap size, or at least the lid, um, smaller, because I think the way it's big right now, it it splashes too much, or, like, it... it it breaks too, too much. And because when it's yeah. really full, it's it's impossible to get a light flow without potentially exactly. spilling it. Exactly. So make it just slightly smaller and lift it maybe because it's already lifted because of the, the way the plastic is. The, yeah. the plastic kind of settles down in the middle a little bit more. So I think I would instead lift the plastic on the edges. So it kind of gives a little bit more of a uh, – like a, it's not a scoop but a – like you know how a teapot has it's like it's a little thing or something or like a like a, a, water. a spigot a spigot a spigot yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of just kind of make it where it's like oh perfect example you know those bamboo like like sinks or like flow thing like how it's half cut bamboo. you know what, Austin kind of make a smaller version of that I've got a few ideas here we'll talk about this later we should totally record a game series together for the Church of Calcium a game series I mean like we can just games? start I mean we can just do Minecraft cash out like the rest of the big youtuber groups yeah fair fair we'll start we'll start with a mod pack neither of us has played and just don't know what the fuck we're doing something animal slash cow related yeah like a farming mod pack yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't see that'd be kind of chill <laughs> that honest would be to chill. god honest to god we could probably do that as like background footage but then if like people are like really into like what we were doing there because we'll put we'll play together but we'll ha- use it as background footage but if people really like enjoyed the background the gameplay we can release the full like us playing that yeah. mod pack that farming mod that's pack right, that's right. like that yeah, or so, you yeah. just do it as a special like just if, if anyone watching this decides to comment on this go ahead and comment some games you'd want to see in the background or just have us play if we get enough people saying the same game we might even just record us playing it and just put it up as a separate youtube video or series who knows you think we can get kevin spacey on the podcast I think we could if we asked nicely. Gordon Ramsay. Can... Gordon Ramsay and ask him about his thoughts on milk is in the food world. That I... would be a bit. Ima- okay, imagine these two fuckheads who are making a church of calcium. Right? <laughs> Getting fucking we... Gordon Ramsay to talk about milk for like 20 minutes. That, that would... With two subscribers. Like, <laughs> that's actually unheard of. That's, but that's we'll weird. need to find, we'll need, once you make that church of calcium on Twitter, we'll need to track down Gordon Ramsay's Twitter account and ask him to come on our podcast. Dude, I'm going to shamelessly, at, like, <laughs> I'm going to shamelessly, like, at all these big celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> and see if I, know, I know, I'm gonna, let's get Obama on the, on the podcast. Holy shit, that'd actually be amazing. <laughs> I would shit my pants. 
like not even like anything political. Like we did ask, just like ask him about milk. <laughs> like that's all we do. Well, just imagine asking any like ex president. I mean, like that'd hey, probably be a fresh of breath there compared to like normal interviews. It probably. I don't would. think. Okay, no, like more like non-serious podcast has ever interviewed a president or an ex-president. It's always official stuff. Like maybe they just kind of want to have some fun too. I mean, I know the Talk trash taste me. podcast has interviewed some like VTubers and stuff, but that's like in the industry. That's, we want to yeah, get well, people out of industry to get on our podcast. Yeah. We don't want to get, I mean like we'll have friends on us. Like I'll bring my dad. I'll bring guy. my dad we'll on the podcast. Bring your dad on the podcast. <laughs> I'll bring. I'll just bring our dads. On. Bring your bring your parents. Bring your parents to podcast day. Bring our dads on for Father's Day, <laughs> and we'll just talk to them. Yeah, we'll quiz them on their milk knowledge. That's actually great. That honestly wholesome. It would be very wholesome. It would, yeah. Mother's Day, but bring the moms on. Mother's Day, bring the moms on. Yeah. Child Children's Day, we'll bring our, our balls on. Got them. Got them. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> We're retarded. Honestly. We really are. But There's a reason why both of us are low ELO and Valorant. <laughs> There's a very both good of us. Both of Excuse us. Excuse me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm stuck in bronze to hell, all right? All right I'm in bronze like, one. We're not that far apart, homie. We're not. You and I are not <laughs> I so different. Sh I should be silver. Like, not, not for anything, but the fact that I top frag a lot now. You do. I just got to get better. I, I'm honestly always better just in the second half of the game compared to the first half. You know what we should play? What's up? We should play Farming Simulator. You know, I've never actually played it. Really? Is it co-op? Yeah, there is co the newer The newer, like 2017 and, and, and later have a co-op multiplayer. Hmm. And we can oh, start a dairy farm. Yeah. Shit, you know, that might that actually sounds fun. It might actually co-op. Uh, I do want to mention, though, uh, we're not going to keep playing Flash Games. We're just doing Flash Games more as a joke. But we know how entertaining it could be. We just need it. We're figuring out what we should do for yeah, background exactly. gameplay. Like, we, games, will, we will take requests, especially like the Epic Games free games. Like, if you guys really want us to play one of those, we pretty much snag every single one that comes out, even if we're never playing them again. But, oh, yeah, facts. Uh, even if they look crappy, we'll probably put them on because who's here for the gameplay? I, I say am. that, but everyone's going to be here for the gameplay. I can, I can they are. You. We're not great at games. We're just entertaining. We're just entertaining. <laughs> we have no actual like game skill to speak of. Honestly, I'm kind of like... We've stretched this out for 52 minutes, and there hasn't been a moment where it's... At least not to me, where it was uninteresting. I'll look back on the audio and see if it actually is uninteresting. But... We can just edit it out and put in like a shameless like advertisement for a random milk product that we make. We might get copyrighted for that. We might get copyrighted for that. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Sorry, guys. But, um, Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, it's but producers, if you guys want to know, just kidding. <laughs> we'll mention the brands, but we just won't, we won't actually sponsor them. Yeah, we're not sponsoring. We're not taking sponsors, and we're not sponsoring anybody. Okay, that's not true. You want to make money eventually. I'm tired of I think working. we get the, the CEO of Costco on. That's a great or at least this, Or at least I the want, head. Of, I want like, a Costco industry. product engineer and ask them what thoughts went into their head when they designed the new milk design like they really did something revolutionary no one has changed the milk gallon design for years like it really was an astounding thing to, to do i hate to go back but we kind of missed something for our foreign viewers if we have any canadians have bagged milk oh jesus christ i remember that why bagged milk exists i honestly don't like what are you trying to do put that bitch in an IV? like for real yes I mean that's fair. Well, but <laughs> like you trying to like, like why? I won't lie. I know it's a bit cheaper. That is just, fair. It's it's. But how do you pour it? Actually, okay. So I I was watching this and they they put the bag in this like plastic little container, and the bag opens up one point. It's kind of like a cereal thing. Like oh, so they just reuse, they reuse you the put container. put it in something. Milk. Yeah, they re, the, they don't pour it into the container. They put the bag with the milk in it in a container, and that container then pours out everything. Oh. Some people put the milk in a different container, yes. But I've seen most people, They there's just like this little contraption that you buy that's super cheap, and then you just pour the milk. You use that to pour the milk. Milk I'm isn't super popular in Canada, so that's probably why they don't have. Yeah, there's a reason why you're not really considered yeah. a cool american continent country <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> but uh, the the French yeah. Canadians. I'm sorry, but like, why do the French exist? Why does your language do that? They gave us French toast. You know what? I forgive you, French. <laughs> they also gave French us. Ba- toast they gave us baguettes too. Baguettes are banger. True. Do French fries technically come from France? I don't know. Because I know, I know the origin story is that the people, uh, this dude accidentally dropped potatoes into a fryer and then they became crispy. And uh, that's probably a they, French dude who did it and so they just said it French fries. That's fair. I don't know. Sorry, French, if you, if, like, you guys are some expert on French fry history and you know for a fact that French fries don't originate from French people at all. We're sorry if that somehow offends your high society cuisine. But yeah, that's just our personal backcountry belief. We're not smart people. I hope people realize this. We're not some like, this ain't like the Joe Rogan podcast or something with like some engineers or like some very intelligent people. We're like slightly above average IQ college students. That's Is mashed potatoes are. technically a milk? What? Is mashed potatoes technically a milk? There's no calcium in it, so no. But people make mashed potatoes with milk. Oh, well, okay. Actually, that's fair. So in that case, it'd probably be closer to like oatmeal. Oatmeal isn't milk, but they cook it in the milk. Fair. Yeah. See, this was just, I mentioned this because this is just one giant segue into the next episode. Yeah, this really is a massive segue. So yeah, you want to just, it looks like we're about 56 you know, minutes. We can 56 start minutes, up, that's honestly not bad. I think, are you right to end it or do you have any other ideas? And we can just wrap this up real quick and mention some end of episode stuff off the fly. But here, I'll wrap this up real quick. See, so, yeah, well, I guess this is, pretty much the end of all the main stuff for episode one uh the council convenes going up on youtube spotify soundcloud you please can name it, please, have it. please hold on wait, no, wait. <laughs> i'm kidding we'll go we'll go just youtube i don't I, I would still have to figure out everything for soundcloud or soundcloud you only are allowed to upload a certain amount unless you buy their premium and uh, spotify i don't know what the whole deal is there so i think youtube is just gonna be for now um if you're using youtube red turn it off uh, well, please watch with ads. I'm just kidding. We're not making anything off of this shit. We really aren't. <laughs> we don't have enough viewers or followers for that subscribers, shit. Yeah. Subscribers, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, well, I guess both finishing up. We're episode two. The that's coming up. Some of the main topics are going to be milk as a food ingredient, things that go well with milk, and just the proper ways to eat certain milk complementary products. And of course, the episode's name is Calcium Complements. Spoilers. Spoilers. We're only saying this because honestly, we're probably gonna release the episode a day later. Yeah, we're only get, we're probably gonna like record the next episode for, like tonight for the for next week. We're probably not gonna. We are, we go, so we're gonna record this. episode two like tonight after I get back from work. Uh yeah, I'll see. I mean, if everyone else is down, then we we'll probably if everyone else is on, we'll probably just play Valorant or something. Oh yeah, uh, we, another we, shameless plug. Uh, we play Valorant. I play Carex. I we stream. Yeah. If you guys want to check out our streams, I'll put it in the description to check out our channels. Yeah, I play Valorant. Uh, we don't Arma. Any other game? I feel like really, I don't care. Facts. Oh yeah, you do play Arma too. I honestly, it's been only Car Carex and uh, Valorant, but um, yeah, yeah. Fine. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, and uh, go yeah. grab yourself a glass of milk. Have a good day. Like, get a glass of milk. Have some cookies. Treat yourself. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Unless they don't like milk, in which case, despise them behind their backs. <laughs> Stars. We're going to start inventing uh, milk slurs that we can start spouting at those who don't drink milk. All right, brittle bones. All right, Bill. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.